Oak Ridge National Laboratory scientists are working to take on what the lab describes as an urgent need, detecting, preventing, or reducing the damage caused by wildfires. Yeah, that need is fueled by what seems like a world on fire from wildfires burning right now in Spain, Portugal, France, and Germany, with Europe facing high temperatures and a worsening drought. To fires right here at home, like the one in late March. Investigators found the wildfire in Wears Valley was caused by sparks from a downed power line blown over by strong winds. We've seen it happen before, notably out in California, where the 2018 campfire disaster traced back to a power transmission line. That fire caused billions in damage and left 85 people dead. The researchers doing this work point to more in the future with climate change leading to larger and more frequent wildfires. Reporter Paige Weeks is here to show us their effort to take action. Lori and Bo, it's clear that wildfires remain an ever-present threat. Because of that threat, though, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory is developing technology that can detect potential problems before they become full-blown emergencies. It's technology that was born out of rising concern over fires, both in Tennessee and around the country. We were contacted by individuals at the U.S. Fire Service inside the Forest Service a couple of years ago to help the wildfire battles that were taking place in California at that time. Originally, the goal was to assist first responders during their battle with fires. We were asked to help design sensors that could then be deployed to measure if asbestos is in the air when there's a wildfire. But that's just where it started. And there was a natural gravitation towards types of sensors that could be used in the electric grid. Using sensors, including some attached to drones, the hope is that the devices can detect arching, which are variations in power flow that lead to superheated sparks. Inspecting uh, transmission lines and other, other areas, maybe even distribution, to see if there are areas that may be more indicative of having a fire. Another advantage of this technology, the drone's ability to detect small embers that can only be seen by firefighters who are on the ground. If you can keep a human life from gearing up and then going into a hazardous situation that's unknown, then you can use your resources adequately and send in. When it comes to the electrical grid angle, one fire department underscores the importance of having continual monitoring of potentially hazardous conditions. That's got to be huge, especially for the power companies to be able to know what their, what their wattage is and if the wattage is being regulated. From our end, it's big just to know where the potential hazards may be. Obviously a very complicated subject. This technology is still being perfected and it may be some time before any of our local agencies see it in use. Right now, the team is also investigating other ways to prevent electrical fires using drone mounted sensors that we told you about. That includes detecting whether splices or transformers are generating that excessive heat, which leads to arcing. Lori, Bo. That is fascinating work. Uh, Paige, thank you so much. Now, according to the lab, this research was accelerated, actually, as the threat of wildfires around the country continues to grow.